Hi guys, it's Monday afternoon. Uh, I have been a bit busy. I've uh, got some bonus footage. I saw the air ambulance circling around and I managed to get footage 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 of that landing and taking off. Um, from what I've seen in a news article, a young or a rider of a scooter had fallen off his bike on my road over there and uh, the fire service took them over to the fire station. I don't know if it was male or female, that's why I'm saying them. Um, and the air ambulance just attended along with an ordinary land ambulance which I believe took them to hospital. I might not have but I know they didn't go via the helicopter anyway. Sorted out that outside cupboard. I've got some forks down for cat strikes when she comes over tomorrow. If she's still coming over tomorrow. Um, she's not said nothing to the contrary today, so what else have I done? Took a photo of a bunch of bits and put it on Facebook and Gumtree. Try and get rid of some, because uh, I'm having or had issues with this computer, my main one. This one, as you notice, side fan is not working because I've disconnected it. What happened last night? This randomly blue screened on me again. I don't know why, it's always done it late at night. I think it was about one o'clock in the morning it decided to do it. Um, so I switched it off, switched it back on, but then it came up saying scanning a hard drive and repairing hard drive. Uh, I do can't remember which hard drive is which. It said hard drive C. Yeah, which is my main drive. Um, so I did that, booted at the desktop, I clicked on Firefox down the bottom here. Firefox opened. Then everything froze, and I heard a click from here, and it blue screened again. Um, and it did that a couple times. I managed to boot it and back up the folders up here that I wanted backed up, and a couple of others, and a few other files. Um, I'll have a tidy up on this desktop. And what I did this morning, took the side cover off, completely dusted this out, disconnected the um, SATA cables from both hard drives, dusted those, found a dodgy looking connection on this fan, which is why that's disconnected at the moment. So I unplugged that, it was plugged into the back of the um, my CD drive there. And I only, at first, I only reconnected the uh, main drive. Booted up, worked fine. So I left it an hour or so, and the computer was working fine. So I shut the PC down, reconnected the storage drive. And it's been working ever since. So I don't know if there was a bit of muck getting into the actual contacts that were causing an issue, or... Fuck. My electric has just gone out. <laughs> That was good. That's good to do the PC, the world of good. I know the electric's gone out because my phone has uh, just gone off and just fallen down the back somewhere. The whole base has actually fallen down the back. But yeah, you see if I... Dead. But uh, yeah, I might reconnect the... Well, actually, I'm going to try and reconnect the fan now. Uh, oh. Yeah, because I've got to manually turn that on anyway. There's another clue, look, my hub's off. But I'll show you what happens. I get paid Wednesday, so it's not a problem. Do -do -do -do. Mrs. Dove. 
He's always using that nest. Could be Mr. Dub sitting up there for that matter. Right, down we go. So don't you ask, the meters are down here. Fuse box is upstairs, the meters are down here. your credit on it, bring it back here and plug it in. But at the moment I've got the emergency on. You should see me over till Wednesday. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that but it gives you five pounds worth of uh, emergency credit. Right. The only ass is to do that I've got to come down the stairs. I don't know why they designed it like that, why they didn't put the meter up in the flat. Oh well, reasons best known to the architect when they built it, I think in the late 60s, late 60s, early 70s this building was built. Before I turn this back on, I'm also dying for a pee as well. Uh, just uh, what I noticed on this, uh, one of the black wires had actually popped out of the plug. Which means it could have been causing an issue with the power supply, which uh, the hard drives may not have liked. Yeah, I've actually just plugged that in again and it's done the same thing. Oh, no it hasn't, I've got it to go back in. Right. And if you're wondering, yes, I do have a uh, old IDE CD drive and the reason for that is, for some unknown reason, again, reasons best known to this computer, Every time I connected a SATA type CD drive and hit the open and or hit the open button on the drive and it closed, it blue screened. <laughs> and I have absolutely no idea why. And it wasn't the drive that was causing it because I tried multiple SATA drives. So, but I plugged in the IDE drive and uh, it's worked ever since. I don't mind because it's not often I use the CD drive, but. Uh, if I ever get this rebuilt with a new motherboard, I will be putting one in. If I'm lucky, it was just filthy connectors. Because obviously, if you get a bit of muck on a connection, it's not going to connect properly. And that's going to cause issues. Slip the side case back on and uh, actually I'll be back in a minute. I had to go take a pee, I couldn't hold it much longer. Right, so we're up to the uh, screeny thingy here. There we go. It just took its sweet time and it didn't before. I'm actually wondering if there's a problem with the fan connector or if my power supply is getting a bit weaker. Because it obviously isn't the hard drive because I've been using it for hours and it's been absolutely fine. We'll see though. Anyway. I actually woke up to a message on Facebook from a friend of mine 
who uh, had reported someone on the Regenerate North Walsham group, reported them to the head admin of the group, because apparently this person had called me a prick. Which personally doesn't bother me, because I think he's a prick as well. But, uh, we never have seen eye to eye, but it could be because he is actually a Tory. But, uh, I do think whether he was a Tory or not, I'd still dislike him because I still think he's an utter wanker, but never mind. But apparently on this thread, it was about a mobile phone that had been found, an iPhone. And yes, I can be sarky at times, and I just sarcastically put nothing like showing the picture that was on the... Well, the picture of the phone and the picture of the, um, the background picture. So any Tom, Dick or Harry could say it's mine, because uh, one thing I didn't know is that it had a passcode. So yes, I was just being sarcastic. I can be a really sarcastic bastard at times, as well as facetious. Which is usually deliberately just to piss people off. Especially my friends, because they get used to it. And they give as good as they, they get. <laughs> they give as good as they get. Um... Well, apparently on this thread, this guy had just... I had him blocked, because I was just sick of seeing his shit. So I didn't actually see it, but um, apparently he was calling me a prick, and I wasn't even talking to him. Like I said, I got him blocked. Don't talk to him, I don't mention people I block or anything like that. What's... You're blocked. You're blocked. Oh, that's right. It's taking so long to learn. This is actually taking a heck of a lot longer to boot as well now. I've got a funny feeling this fan on the side cover here is causing the issue. But yeah, someone reported it to the... Because he's right, you know, it's not on, especially as I didn't do anything that warranted it. If I'd have said something that warranted it, then, yeah, you know, and I actually made another comment that, well, I basically, you know, put my hands up and said, yeah, I might have jumped the gun a little bit there. Which I'm sure a lot of us have jumped the gun at some point in our lives, probably more than once as well. No, I don't, I'm the only one. In fact, there was another post about something else where uh, someone did uh, jump the gun a little bit, or get a little bit judgmental. But, uh, anyway, the phone has made it back to its right flow, and then, like I said, the actual person who shared the post replied to me in a civil manner, which I am grateful for, do wish more people were like that, and just said it had a passcode on it anyway. <laughs> so, of course, if that person don't know the password, they obviously won't give them the phone. I don't know how long my subwoofer is going to last either because I can hear a little buzz coming from it. Mind you, that would be something to fix, wouldn't it? Did I click on that enough? Sometimes only a single click will work on things on this computer. Sometimes I've got a double click. I swear this thing has got a mind of its own. Literally. Oh shit. I can't post this because I'm out of the uh, grip side. I'm going to stick that. Actually, I've got to go out. I'll do that when I've done pissing around with this computer. I'll zip off and just run that errand because I've got to go to Lidl's anyway. I need some cola. Oh, I know why this might be taking a while to boot up as well, because it suddenly shut down. It really doesn't like it when that happens. <laughs> it can throw a right hissy fit. But it seems to be working now. 
fish. Yeah, we've was just a bit sh shit on the cables then, um, because it was rather dusty in there again. Don't know what it is with this computer, it's such a friggin' dust magnet. I mean, I'm regularly cleaning dust out of the grills and whatnot on the front of this thing. And this side fan. It's just, it's a magnet to dust, it really is. Right, so we appear to be working absolutely fine. So, I'm just going to check emails, make sure no one's replied to anything. Got another one in my spam folder. See, some Gumtree replies go to my spam folder and others don't. They go into my inbox and I have no idea why. Just whatever Yahoo feels like doing with them, it seems. But, I know Yahoo's not perfect, but I do get a lot less spam with Yahoo than I do Outlook. Outlook is shit. So much spam through my Outlook, that's why I don't use it anymore. If I ever sign up for an account on a website or anything, I'll use my Yahoo one, or my Gmail one. Gmail, I don't get none at all. Right, I'm going to quit my jibber jabbering for now and I'm going to disappear. Go drop this in the repeat prescriptions box at the doctor's. Go to Lidl's. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to do. Is there anything I want for dinner? No, I've still got the chicken nuggets in there. I really think it's just a corner I want. I'll have a look when I get there. That's me errands ran. I've been down to the doctor's surgery and dropped my prescription in. Uh, stopped off at Lidl's and got a few bits there. I've had a bite to eat, so I think I'm good. I've just been looking on eBay. eBay is a nightmare for me. <laughs> Especially for buying. I like to buy. You know, I'm watching a portable radio cassette on there and it is tempting. It's, uh, it's a buy it now of £20. Don't think they take um, or accepting an offer. No, you can't make an offer. Um, but I have to say, I'll turn you around so you're not looking at my bare chest. But I have to say, it does look in fairly good condition. It look a bit grubby, but variable monitor system auto stop tells you the direction of play there as well. Three band FM, MW, and LW. Got a volume knob on the top there. Tune it down to that side. I do like that volume knob. So it's got the um, tape and radio selector switch on the top here with the band selector behind it. Let's see if we can find it actually. Where is it? I can't see it. Oh, it's here. There it is. takes batteries as well. There's a close-up of this info plate and whatnot. Sanyo Electrical Co. Limited, made in Korea. Equip this equipment should be disconnected from the mains when not in use. I wonder if that's because the transformers can get a little on the hot side. So I've noticed that when I've had my uh, JVC here plugged in sometimes it feels a little bit on the warm side that's why I don't like to leave anything like that plugged in 
But uh, yeah, I have to say, I'm, I'm tempted. No guarantees that I'm going to buy it, but I am tempted. I've got the curtain closed to keep some of the sun out so it doesn't get so bloody hot up here. And I've got a sinus ache to boot as well. Poor Nemo, he just went to nuzzle on my leg and I moved. So I've run a train around the track and run you over again because you never bloody move, do you? The last time I did that it crashed into him and fell off the track because he wouldn't move. <laughs> right, I was wondering if there's any more... You know what, this table is still twisted. Because I can see it on here, the police station is not sitting straight. Straight with the edge of this table. I can clearly see the table, the coffee table itself isn't. Hmm, I'll have to sort that out. I'll sort that. I think it's going to be easier to sort that once I've got all the base plates in there. It actually looks like my road has been moving because I can see a bloody gap. Quite a large gap right there. See it? It's not meant to be there. Oh, I do hate it. I've linked all these plates together in, in an attempt to stop it all from moving, but it still moves. Still annoying. As far as I know, Catch Trikes is coming up tomorrow. Um, I wish I had a better video card to put in her computer. Well, I've actually got one. I just don't have the power connectors for them. Um, they broke. <laughs> so, yes, I used to. But they broke, unfortunately, so I haven't got them. So I can't put them in, because they wouldn't be usable. Not without electricery. One needs two six-pin connectors, and one just needs the one. And I don't have either. But uh, I'm presuming she'll take it home with her. There's a few other bits I know she wants to take back. Liberate me of a few bike parts. <laughs> Well, I've got loads there that I want to get rid of, so she might as well take what she wants before I sell the rest. <laughs> now I've got a bit of grit or something in my eyeball. Right. The video for the LEGO channel saved. I could. Let's set that up loading. I need to clear some space up there because I've got another um, review video to make. So I've got to do a review on this one. These are nice. I love the. This is the only other theme I really, really like other than the Lego City theme. And I'm not really, you know, a sports car, supercar type of person, but I really do like these models. Apart from this one, because there's a lot of small pieces with that one. Uh, pardon. I actually came onto my Lego channel the other day and I had like... 60 odd notifications because I haven't hadn't been on for so long it's not that video where is it I'm going to upload it before I save over the damn thing again that is the one isn't it no that one isn't orange one that's the one I'm kind of <laughs> the color background colors I put on my tails I'm kind of trying to do 
or trying to relate the colours to something in that video. So as this car is orange, I made the title background orange. So uh, anyway, I'm going to shut this down here I think and I might actually go and uh, just chillax in the bath for a little while. Sure, I saw Nemo come over here. You behind the window? Behind the window, behind the curtain? No, he's not. No, he's down here. Oh. Poor Luna. <laughs> She's molting her mane. There we go. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. It seems like I've got a bit of a dodgy connection somewhere in this. And, uh, I'll have a look at that little thing one day. Yeah. What are you doing on there? Yeah. Sorry about that. Right. There's a lot of buzz coming from my uh, subwoofer there. Oh, if it dies, it doesn't matter. I've got a spare one under there. <sighs> right. So, not only do I have cat strikes coming up early tomorrow, I've got someone coming to look at bike parts at 12 and another person coming at 12.30. And I've sold a pair of brake calipers on eBay. <coughs> Pardon me, they haven't paid yet, but they've sold, so... Go me! <laughs> um... And the battery's going down on this because I forgot to put the camera back on charge. Uh, bloody cat. Bloody cat, he is. He's a bloody cat. <laughs> right, so. I totally forgot I was trying to take these apart. Be something I can get up to tonight, can it? I don't really know why I keep this fucking thing. It's about as much use as a bleeding match. Actually, a match would be brighter than this. It's just a novelty little LED thing. I mean, I, I probably could take that apart and put a brighter LED in there if I really want to. Anywho, I'll just stick you there for a minute. Let's see. After giving that bolt a soak in WD at 40, so we can get that bolt off. Because it's this one that's been a bloody nuisance that doesn't want to move. But after 24 hours soak, that should be uh, should be ready to come off. I mean, I could clean that up with it assembled, but it would make life a lot harder. Um, what did I do with that? My stepdad gave me a much larger bench vice that just clamps to a bench. So I took that one downstairs, and I'm pretty certain I bought my little one upstairs. Um, I think, <laughs> if I haven't, and it's not up here, then it must still be downstairs, but I was going to bring it upstairs anyway and uh, bolt to my bench over there, because a little one would be ideal for that, and a bigger one would be better down in the shed, so I swapped them over. Um, and no, I've not done anything with the... Uh, air compressor yet. What ones did you buy? It wasn't these ones. Was it these ones? No. Nope. 500A, the 10 it would be the last fucking ones I'd pick up, wouldn't it? Yeah, N500, 500A. Oops. It's 
seems I may have um, paired these up a bit wrong. I've got one of each with each. Well, I'll sort that later. They're all exactly the same, so... Well, they are actually as well. I'll just put that cable tie around them to keep them together. Yeah. It doesn't look too rusty and horrible on that nut, but it just... This thing just does not want to move. I wonder if I can rock it a bit. It's actually rotating the nut in the thing, not the... I don't know if this is actually going to... No. It's not, unfortunately. Well, I wanted my vice so I could actually put it in a vice and hold it. Yeah. What a fuck, basically. I can get a spanner on this side properly. The other side wants to come off. Well, I sort of might be able to, well, I could get in there, but it's not going to be a very good, clean job, unfortunately. guy has not paid for the doodars yet. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> right. But... I've got to think about this. That's a 500. So, I'll take this off. There we go. Stick it on here. <laughs> there we go. That's how it's meant to be. So, they're the N500s. She looks like two fronts. That's a front and a rear, that's two fronts. Oops. Well, they can still be used, it can still be used on the rear. It doesn't matter. Alright, I'm going to disappear for the night because I've got to get this video up anyway. So, thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. I don't care either way. So, uh, I'll talk to you again soon, I suppose. Bye!